Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. Are you having a good day? Oh, I hope so. Granny B's having a good day. Are you remembering to be kind to those people around you? Oh, you know what a big difference that makes in the world when you're doing little acts of kindness to make the world a better place. Well, I'm going to read a story today about a little mouse and a vole. A vole is kind of like a mouse, um, but just a little bit different. And I wanted to give you a little hint in this book. When you look at the pictures, you gotta look for the little vole. He's hiding. He's trying to stay out of sight. But if you look real hard, I know you'll find him. This book is called Side by Side. This is the mouse and this is the vole. And it's a story about friendship, and it just makes my heart so happy. Side by Side is written by Rachel Bright and Debbie Gliori. And I'm going to get out of the way so you can see these really cute pictures. Deep in the heart of Winter Mouse Wood, down in the grass, where the autumn trees stood, lived all kinds of creatures, some big and some small, some spiky, some furry, some short and some tall. And here was a family of mouserly folk who nestled in burrows under an oak. And the tiniest, weeniest, youngest of those who had Sticky out ears and a whiskerly nose was named Little Mouseling. She had a huge heart. She loved times together, never apart. But being so small, she was sometimes left out when her brothers and sisters went up and about. She would scurry and skip as fast as she could but they scattered so far across Winter Mouse Wood. Wait for me, she would sing. Don't run. Oh, don't hide. Is there nobody here who will stay by my side? Look there. So that's the first time I've seen the little, little vole. So let's see if we can see him again. Well, in Winter Mouse Wood, you don't have to wait long for one or another to answer your song. I'll stay by your side, be a friend when you need, came the voice of Toad Flip, who was down in some reeds. We could bounce up and down and do backflips and jumps, then plop in the water and cool down our rumps. How lovely, she said, since she longed to dive in. I do like to bounce, but this mouseling can't swim. From high in the branches, a voice echoed down. Well, then I'll be your friend, bellowed Big Squirrel Brown. We can pack up a picnic of hazelnut pie, go upside by side till we're touching the sky. You're too kind, replied Mouseling. We'd have such a nice time. And I do like nut pie, but I'm too scared to climb. Owl Hooty? She wanted to soar through the sky, but as everyone knows, of course, Mouselings can't fly. Batty Fangs? He wanted to stay up until dawn. But even the thought of it made Mouseling yawn. She stared at the sky with her eyes big and wide. Would she ever find one who would stay by her side? And as dark came in shadows and rain dropped in drips, this Mouseling ran out of her scurries and skips. 
so she sat very quiet in her silvery fur. No one seemed perfectly matching for her. It seemed in this world she was out on her own. Deep in Winter Mouse Wood, she felt quite alone. But someone had heard her side-by-side -side song. Someone who'd been around all along. He popped up his head from a very small hole. A tiny, full, weenimous little black bowl. He was awfully quiet and terribly shy. But he couldn't hear mouserly tears and stand by. He peeped, I'll be your friend. And he gave her a wink. Shall we dance ourselves happy? What do you think? We could make up some songs, he said, stroking his chin. Perhaps all of the wood would want to join in. Oh, this was her other. They'd make a great pair. If only she'd noticed he'd always been there. And now that they'd met, there was so much to do. They could do all the things you can do as a two. They could seesaw, play catch, and sit back to back. They could hide in their den and share a nice snack. They could sit and hold paws until daylight was gone. Yes, two little tails are better than one. They were peas in a pod. They were birds of a feather. They were always best friends, whatever the weather. Two wonderful ones had found a forever, and forever is great when you spend it together. And now, side by side, they heard the same tune. So they sang to the stars, and they danced to the moon. Yes, deep in the heart of Winter Mouse Wood, a friend by your side makes life twice as good. Well, not just in Winter Mouse Wood, all over the place, everywhere in the world, a friend makes your life so much better. Well, I hope you have a friend. And if you don't, why don't you try to be a friend? Yeah, you could just go find a friend, somebody who's also looking for a friend, just like Mouserling and the Vole. Well, you just remember, Granny B will always be your friend, and Granny B loves you, and I want you to come back and see me again real soon so I can read you another story, okay? Bye-bye.